Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys the weekly soul connection reading. And so this is going to be for today's date, which is Monday, August 17th, going all the way until Sunday, August 23rd. So we're going to be focusing on soul connections that are in some sort of a separation or experiencing a current challenge. Maybe this could be twin flame, soulmate, however you see this person. We're not necessarily focusing on any labels today, just the energies between you and them. As far as all the decks that I'm using here today, as I shuffle each deck, I'll let you guys know what they are. If there are any of my self-created decks, they will be available for purchase on my website. But if you're international, please email my team and they will send you a special ordering link. So everything will be down below. I felt like giving some love to some decks that I have not used in a while or decks that are new. So you guys are going to be seeing some different decks this week. So this beautiful Organite was created by my friend Michelle from Wing and Bell. This is a customized piece. So this probably isn't one that you're going to see on her website, but she can customize anything that you want. I wanted something for my Mystics Midnight Oracle, which is one of my newer decks. It's very, you know, kind of Halloween-y. And I just thought for me personally, purple, was perfect for that deck. So I just wanted to bring that forth because we've got some beautiful uh, purples in the background. So let me just put this over here. I don't want to get any glare on that. So let's just put it right there. Uh, somebody's alarm is going off in the neighborhood. I'm still getting glare here. So just give me a second. All right, that should be good. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, we are going to be going over an outline today. I did create that as I selected each deck specifically for each section. The very first thing we're gonna be focusing on are general. So what is the, cause I usually just go right into what they're thinking about you and feeling about you and you versus, you know, you versus them. I just wanted to see where they're at in general. Sometimes it really helps us to see just where people are at in general. And then of course, what energy we're holding on to ourselves, because that can make a huge impact on the way that we are acting, you know, or can help us to see maybe somebody's going through something. So we're going to focus on your person first. Let me get rid of this pop-up. Okay. Um, general energies of your person. So we're going to break it down. So we're going to be using three different decks here today. This is the moon child tarot. This is a tarot deck that you would have to get off of their website. So I'll put it down below. And this is a newer deck for me that I haven't used quite often, like literally once or twice. So I wanted to give it some love and attention. That is the sacred destiny cards. And this one is called the sacral sacred traveler. Uh, cards, which I haven't used in, I, I don't know, like seriously six months. So <laughs> it was just time. It was time to give some attention to some other decks. So let's break it down. I'm going to get uh, three cards per category. See what's happening in your person's thoughts. Like what are they focused on currently? What is their biggest priority or focus at this time? Your person's biggest priority or focus at this time. Okay, so we have pleasure. We have navigating by the stars. So we have follow your bliss and pleasure. So that's kind of very similar to me. Pleasure and bliss. And we have five of pentacles. So the five of pentacles is uh, kind of a sad and dreary cards and, or card. And so I think it's kind of cool that your person right now, because they might be feeling shut out, they might be experiencing also some sort of financial issues where they are down and out right now financially. And so because of this, it's like they're trying to just navigate their life right now by what feels good to them. You know, maybe making that more of a priority, how they feel, their mental health versus stressing versus trying to get all their ducks in a row financially. So it doesn't mean that this person isn't being responsible. It just means that maybe they're taking a little bit of a break and they're just deciding because I mean, look at this, this guy here, this sage, it's almost like the hermit here. 
And then we have this beautiful uh, pathway over into this archway, which is a number 11. So we have two bushes here. I've got 11, 11 here for your person. So they could be experiencing some sort of a spiritual awakening. They could feel guided right now. They could feel like there's a higher calling for them. They could just be trusting that everything is unfolding just the way that it's supposed to. So you might be dealing with someone who is, uh, like I said, going through a spiritual awakening or transformation, and they might have been brought to their knees either financially or just they're down and out in some way, maybe even just spiritually devoid because the five of pentacles is is feeling just broken on all levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, I mean, all of it. You almost feel cast out in life. And so you have to go through almost like a death and, tra or, uh, yeah, like a death and rebirth and transformation. And, um, it, it, it literally just transforms you for the rest of your life. So I feel like there's a huge tower moment here. I feel like your person is going through quite the challenge right now, but they are trying to navigate their new path and the way forward by going within actually and following what feels right for them. So it's quite beautiful. So let's see where your person is at emotionally. What is affecting them the most emotionally right now? We have illumination. So there's an illumination as far as how your person perhaps is feeling. Maybe they're in, like going in, doing a lot of introspective work, really shining the light on how they're feeling. We have answering the call. So the time is now. So I almost feel like there's no better time than right now for your person to go within and examine how they really feel. Look, four of wands, another, uh, and another 11, 11. So I do feel you guys that this is just a confirmation from spirit telling you that this person is experiencing a spiritual awakening. They're on some sort of pathway towards ascension. Absolutely. Four of wands is also feeling really good just in your own foundation in life, feeling really stable, wanting to build something, wanting to get to that feeling of you know, just celebrating instead of regressing, building something versus not. So I do feel like they want to progress forward. They do want to build towards this foundation. It could also be right now too, that they are spending time with family. They're spending time with people that are very stable in their life while they go through whatever they're going through. So families could be coming together. They could be calling on their family for support. Yeah. That's what I'm also getting to, to um, help them to take this time that they need in order to go in and really illuminate how they're feeling and what they want to do next. So the time is now for them to make some decisions. What do they want to start building um, in the future? What foundation do they want to build for themselves next? So I almost feel like your person is going through a major transformation in their life. They might be, uh, let's just say, you know, re -tra like transforming their career, doing something completely different, moving to a, a new place, something like that. It's, it's major energy here for me. That's what I'm feeling or seeing. All right. So what about their outer circumstances? What's going on in their environment? So to external to them, that could be affecting them. We have flow. So your person could just be really going with the flow right now. Just kind of like whatever is calling them. They're just going towards it. We have breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. Yeah. So whatever pathway that they're on, they're going through a breakthrough. They're just breaking through and just handling their business, right? Yeah, this is someone who's just getting through stuff. With the emperor, wow, like, like a boss, basically. So this could be a masculine, or this is requiring masculine energy on your person's part to deal with something, to gain some sort of order and control in their life. So we have two fours that come up now with the four of wands and the emperor four. Fours are all about uh, foundation and stability. So I do feel like this is definitely um, confirming for us that your person is, you know, restructuring, trying to take charge of something, um, trying to address something major in their life that needs to change, something that needs to be handled, right? But they're going, they're going with the flow, 
as far as whatever they need to do. So this could be a father figure. There could be somebody that's around them that is assisting them or helping them. Again, there's the structure that this person can tap into in order to, uh, you know, gain some sort of support or footing on their path. So I do feel like this person has a lot of support around them. Um, we also have the breaking trail. So there could be some challenges in their outer world and they're just trying to go with the flow at this time instead of fighting something. They're just handling it. That's what I'm seeing. So what about spiritually? What's going on for your person spiritually? We have opportunity. So there's an opportunity to learn an opportunity to change, an opportunity to see things as blessings rather than curses, things like that, taking responsibility for actions, karma, things like that. We have narrow pathway, tread thoughtfully. Yeah, look at this, somebody who is thinking a lot more clearly than maybe they did before. So this is an opportunity for somebody to change, uh, to ascend to the next level, to see perhaps that their experiences right now are due to the fact that there was choices that they made. So I do feel like somebody's taking responsibility, emperor, taking responsibility for what's happened in their life, realizing that their choices, realizing their behaviors have led them to the spot that they are in currently. So I don't feel like your person's making excuses. I feel like they are owning it. Yep. Look at that. Any sadness, heartbreak, any heartbroken energy. This could be any energy or anything that they've done to other people. So this is again, that karmic energy, kind of like we, we reap what we sow, whatever we put out there, we get back whatever heartache or sadness or just feelings of just, you know, it's a bummer that something isn't working or something happened the way that it did they're wanting to change and they're wanting to go forward on their path a lot more thoughtfully than they were b before. So I do feel like your person wants to change. I feel like they want to uh, just change up who they are as a person in this life. And they want to try to go forward on their journey in a completely new way. So they're turning like they're turning lemons into lemonade. Basically they're taking tragedy and heartache or any anything that didn't work out for them. And they're taking this as an opportunity to do something with that, making any kind of pain that they've experienced matter, learning from it versus becoming a victim. So I actually see a lot of beautiful things for your person right now on their, on their journey. So let's take a look at your energy. So we're going to go into one of my newest decks that I actually just bought yesterday. This is called the seven. I think that's what it's called. Yes. The uh, Oracle of the seven energies. This is from Colette Baron Reed. Okay. So same thing for you. What are you focused on currently? Where are your mental energies at this time? Cause it's like, whatever we are thinking about, we are actually creating. We have beyond the ordinary. We're going to go into the wild offering cards. combined with independence. Very cool. And we're also going to get a moon child card. We've got six of wands. Love the six of wands because the six of wands is recognizing something. It's a victory. It's, it's success. It's movement forward. So going beyond the ordinary and going into more of an independent energy. So we have the more you learn to feed yourself on the inside and care for the inner child, the more, the more freestanding you become. Help me feed and love this inner child. So that right there is telling me that you on your own have a responsibility to yourself in this lifetime to feed yourself. So this is about depending on other people less for your happiness or fulfillment. So your focus right now might be on self care. We have beyond the ordinary, which is about going above and beyond the ordinary. So you might be really working extra hard right now. You might be working on a project that you want 
success in, that you want recognition in. You really want to stand out perhaps in life. And it's not an egotistical type of an energy. It's just very much about wanting to experience success, feel good about yourself, really move forward towards your independence. So some of you guys could be quite codependent right now on someone or something, and you're working to break through the cycle. That's really fantastic. So no matter how, what it means for people out there, however it's resonating with you, this is telling you that you're willing to go above and beyond and really push forward in order to experience this independence that you so, um, I don't want to say desperately, but that you just really, really want in your life. You don't want to have to either depend on others or you realize that you've been codependent for a while looking to other people to fulfill you or to bring some sort of stability or happiness to your life. So you're trying to go within to feed that inner child to supply your own happiness for a change. So this is a really positive thing. So let's take a look and see what's going on with your emotions. It's emotionally happening for you. We have quieting the mind. Again, beautiful. It's about spending some time and going within. Instead of looking outside of yourself, you're going within. We have direct, see, you're going within for directions. You're not, you're not going outside of yourself and seeing what everybody else thinks about you and what everybody else would do. You're going within, you're consulting that navigation system within you. It says, please show me the right no, uh, the right action right now. Please bring a sign and a miracle that gives clear direction. May I bear the promptings of my body. And if for some reason I'm about to head in the wrong way, please stop me. So you're, again, you're going within and you're consulting that inner nav navigation system to guide your way. You're not asking friends and family, even though sometimes, you know, you feel guided to get some opinion outside of yourself, but really guys, the answer comes from within. A lot of people feel like they need to go outside of themselves for confirmation. And, you know, at the end of the day, you really don't. And so as the more that you ascend on your journey, the more, the less and less that you're going to need outside things to confirm signs for you or confirm what you're feeling. You're just going to know, and you're just going to basically trust yourself. So you're working right now on trusting, going within how I'm feeling right now. Can I trust that you're going within, you're trusting your intuition more. So you're working on that right now. Four of Pentacles. That is also a card of sitting in your own energy, almost like in a meditative position and going within. But the Four of Pentacles, of course, has a little bit of a dual meaning. It's like holding on too tightly to something or needing to, you know, let go of something, depending on how it falls. And so I do feel like this is about going within, but it is about, um, you know, not holding on too tightly to one, any one thing. Just if something isn't feeling right to you or something you know or trust you feel like you need to let it go and maybe let it breathe a little bit, you're trusting that you're doing, you're not desperately holding on to something. You're, you're quieting your mind. You're asking for directions from your heart space and your, and your um, intuition. And you're trusting that more when it comes to the things that are supposed to be in your energy or things that you need to let go of. So it's like, going within to ask, do I need this or can I release this? That's what it is. So you guys are working on yourselves in some significant way is what I am seeing at this time with these cards. So let's get some energy as far as outside influences and how this might be affecting you. We have close encounters. So this is definitely about people that are close to you. So people that are close to you, people that you are encountering with, this is some kind of energy. What is this about? Ooh, despair. Okay. So somebody that you feel close to, somebody that you've had a close encounter with, somebody that you have had an experience with, you could be feeling somewhat um, in a state of despair right now. And that could be one of the other reasons why you're taking this time to go within to figure out what do I do next? So it says, I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit, lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. So again, this, we do see this butterfly in this cage. 
We're only holding ourselves hostage the more that we are holding on to this despair. This says divine, you know, um, whatever this darkness is, please lift it from me. Help me to, to free my soul from whatever this is. Open me up to the higher plan. It's about realizing that there's a higher reason why you're going through what you're going through. So uh, this four of pentacles is kind of the same as this holding on very tightly to something and kind of shackling yourself to a certain feeling, maybe despair. And at the end of the day, the energy it can't flow as long as we're holding on to it so tightly. So it's about letting go and going with the flow, kind of like what your person is doing right now. They're choosing whatever experiences that they're having, five of pentacles, three of swords, very difficult cards. They're going with the flow and letting go, and they're just moving forward on their journey. You should do the same. Maybe some of you guys are already doing that. This is good. Let's mirror this person. This is a good thing. So if you feel despair or lower vibrational energy with them, it's time to raise this vibration. It's, it's time to release this energy from you because it does look to me like your person is, um, is, is able to do the same. See, two of swords is about being stuck. So we don't want to stay stuck in this energy. We absolutely don't. And the thing is, you might be stuck in this energy because someone has not made a decision. Somebody is not communicating. You're at a stalemate position with someone else. Could be your person. Because remember, this is external to you. You might be feeling despair over other people's indecisions or inaction. But rather than putting yourself in this cage, spirit is asking you to free yourself up from this energy so that way you can move forward on your journey as an individual as well. That's what I'm getting here. So let's take a look and get the energy of your uh, spiritual side. What's spiritual energy here for you? Soul's energy here. Time machine. You know, we could waste a lot of time wishing we could go back in time. Man, have I spent a lot of a lot of time in that energy for sure. But at the end of the day, you guys, it's just, it's a waste of time because you're taking away from your present. We have self-sufficiency. You know, it's time basically. It, we can't go back and change things. All we can do is improve ourselves from here on out. So in some sort of way, as we continue to improve ourselves now and become more self-sufficient when it comes to our independence, which was the first card that we got, guys, independence. The more what we would learn to rely on ourselves and really focus and realize that this journey has a lot to do with the self. C coming into union with yourself is really the only way that you will come into a proper healthy union with another. So you need to take some time for the self and spirits asking you, you can't, I mean, you can, but if you really want to experience peace and happiness with another person, a very harmonious relationship, um, this is time for you to really dedicate your, your space and time to focus more on you and to, to heal in the proper way. So you guys can experience that. So it says the ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. So it, you know, again, God self, same thing, actually, it doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying God is my source and I'm willing to receive all the help, love and support that wants to come. So this is about also having faith and realizing that everything that you're experiencing at all times in your life, the past, um, all the despair, all the negative things that have happened to you, this is happening to support you on your journey back to yourself. So it's very similar to what your person has gone through. So there's a mirroring happening here. There is definitely a mirroring of experiences that you guys are both, both basically experiencing on your journey. So I feel like that was why there was a lot of 11 11s because you guys are both experiencing some sort of major awakening, second awakening, transformation, just spiritual shifts. For sure. Eight of wands. That's the only way forward. We have four and four. So I think that that is huge because I just said you guys are both experiencing 1111 and here it is confirmed from spirit. Your experience it and their experience it. This is the way forward. You guys are both on the same destined uh, or you guys are both on the same pathway, but you guys are just on different in different lanes right now. That's it. You guys are both moving forward actually at the same rate. 
They're at this time, look at this pathway forward, forward. You guys can't go back in time. You guys can only move forward. But as you continue to move forward, you can change so much. So it's always going back to the self slash source. Very much the same thing. When you're focused on you and you're taking that time to go within yourself, you're connected to source. And that's where all things, when you're, when you are in alignment with that, that's when all things move forward in your life. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. You guys, I love this. So that's the difference between you and your person. Actually no different at all. It's very, very similar and very aligned. So let's now go ahead and get into the energies of their energies towards you and your energies towards them. This right here is called the Arcanum or Arcanum Tarot. This is called the Psychic Tarot and Oracle from John Holland. And this is called the Energy Oracle Cards. So let's get into that. Okay, so when your person thinks about you in this connection or reflects on you in this connection, what does this energy look like? We have the magician's energy, so it says awareness. So this to me confirms if some of you guys were wondering, does your person ever think about you? To me, with that word awareness, that confirms for me as an oracle meaning for the magician in this deck. Yes, we do have crown energy. So this could tell me too that your person is really connecting with you it, um, from their higher self. So if you're experiencing a lot of 5D energies or a lot of experiences that you're having, in 5D through meditation, your dreams, or just, you know, in your waking moments where you're really connected to 5D, there is a connection here for sure. They're, they're feeling you, thinking about you. Or when you're in that high vibrational spot, that's when your energy is hitting them. So what else? Ooh, we have the third chakra, which is the Archangel Shamuel. So I see Archangel Shamuel, of course, is this energy that has a lot to do with the heart, right? Even though this is not heart chakra, this is the solar plexus chakra. But this to me is very ascended um, gold. And look at this, they're both gold energy here. That's the solar plexus. It's like a yellowish gold. It's very happy. Let's think about the sun. It's very happy. It's very bright. It's very illuminated. It's very high vibe. So I do feel like when you are thinking about your person and you are experiencing them in a very good energy, they're actually feeling this, you guys. They're getting some sort of hit from you. Yeah, king of pentacles. This is great. I feel like right now when it comes to your person, they're really focused on their life purpose because I see personally as a reader, not everybody does. I see the solar plexus chakra as somebody who is finding their purpose in life. They're figuring out what they want to do. And I did feel like there was a lot of energy connected to what your person is going to do next. So this right here, whatever they're connecting with you, however you are holding their energy has a lot to do with where they're, what they're feeling their they're capable of at this time in their lives. I feel like they want to improve themselves. And this has something to do with you. Like you're part of their purpose. You're a part of them improving themselves in this lifetime. So this to me is like a spiritual contract here between you and them. You help them to, to become more aware. You help them to pick up those tools the, of the magician and to start doing something. The tool that they're holding on to, though, out of all of the four elements is the pentacle. That's the most important thing for them right now is that pentacle. They also look to me like they're almost like holding a wand as well. So what they want to direct, they want to direct their energy in the physical world. They want to see some sort of change. Maybe they want to experience, you know, some sort of success or rebuilding or restructuring themselves in the physical world or even financially. The five of pentacles did come up. And so that could be any kind of loss that they've experienced. They're now wanting to rebuild themselves. So like I said, when they think about you in this connection, they actually think that they want to improve themselves. They want to improve themselves, not only for themselves, but also for you. That's what I'm seeing here. They, they want to actually improve themselves for you. You're helping this person to want to be a better version of themselves. And that's really cool. 
So what about their emotions when they when they kind of feel your energy? What does this energy look like? What comes up for them emotionally when they think about you? Wow, so you guys are sharing a card. That's the six of wands. Remember, you have the six of wands. So there is some sort of like recognizing something or maybe even desiring to have success. Wanting to show you though something. Yeah, that's what I keep getting. Look, door to personal happiness. So there's a lot of doors and pathways here. A lot of 11 11s in this reading. This tells me here that you, something about you and connecting to your heart space makes them happy. And that's why we had all of that solar plexus shock are very sunny, right? Very bright, very yellow. It's like there is this pathway and you can see this beautiful rainbow out there it's like you're the doorway to their personal healing and happiness, you guys. So you're part of this person's healing. It's something about you helps them to want to be a better person, to want to successfully move forward with victory, to do it. So you in this lifetime almost hold them personally accountable for their actions and for the things that they've done or they haven't done. And so no matter if you guys are speaking or not, just their energy connected to you helps them to want to be a better version of themselves is just what I keep getting over and over again. It's like they want to do it for, for themselves, but they also want to do it for you too. Five of cups. Look, so that five of cups energy, it's very similar to this card here, which came up for you, despair. And this was in your environment. So this was, this was something that was, this was something that was experienced because of something that happened outside of you. So from another person could be this individual, any five of cups energy that exists between the two of you, sadness, despair, guilt, regret, all of these things feeling bummed out. Look at these two cups though. Those two cups still remain while these three cups are, are basically spilled over. So you guys have gone through something with this individual. You definitely have. You guys have gone through something. I have seven and 11, three plus four is seven and I have five plus six, which is 11, seven and 11 here, both very spiritual numbers. So there is there is a desire that your person has to walk through a new door with you. They want some sort of victory and success in this connection. They want to be able to move forward victoriously and they're working on their healing right now. We do know this. They would rather be happy with you than sad with you. They do feel sadness though. When your person feels your energy, when they think about the energy, there's sadness here, there's regret, there's pain with five of cups. So they're trying to get through that. They're trying to clear it. And I feel like one of the only ways that your person knows how to do that is to really focus on themselves. And that's a good thing because that's really where our, where the, um, connection is to source lies is within ourselves. So I feel like your person is doing, doing the right thing by going within and, um, moving forward and trying to rebuild themselves in some sort of way. So let's see what the um, energies are from your person's practical, logical side, their rational side, you know, maybe even like their ego self. Let's see what that looks like. So this is like opposite of heart energy. Okay. So we have the star, a lot of gold, a lot of yellow here. So the star is about being led, navigating by the stars. This actually came up for your person. Let's look it up. Look at this navigating by the stars, not an accident. You are this person's guiding light. Something about you helps this person to be guided through their lives in some sort of way. You help this person to get on track with who they're meant to be in this lifetime. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's what this is. Yep. The thinking woman. Um, they don't know what you're thinking. They can only imagine what you're thinking. That's what I'm seeing. They're not sure what you're thinking. Are you, this to me is like a queen of swords. This is someone who is thinking and maybe not feeling as much. So how they experience you in the physical world or with their rational, practical mind, 
they feel like you're using your logic and you're using your rational side when it comes to them. And so they hope for some sort of shift or healing because of this five of cups energy. So I do feel like your person might feel like you are still in that head space of maybe not in your heart and more in your head because of what happened. Yeah. Queen of pentacles. Queen of pentacles is very practical. She's very, uh, she is very nurturing. She's very lovely, but she also is holding a pentacle and we did just get the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles. So this tells me that your person actually has a lot of hope that perhaps in the physical world and the 3D world, that the two of you at some point will end up in alignment together. Because I see the star spiritual alignment, guiding light, people that are destined, star-crossed lovers coming back together. But they don't know what you're thinking at this point. So that might be one of the reasons why they either haven't reached out, or this could be one of the reasons why they're just still just not sure, because they don't know what you're thinking. All right, so let's see how your person, what their higher self is, how their higher self connects to you. Ooh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Destiny. So it could be that they, their higher self tells them that your connection is destined, that it's only a matter of time before your paths cross again. This could also be karmic cycles. Maybe the timing wasn't right before, but the timing may be more favorable later on. Yeah. Storm warning. So that to me is uh, saying that there's something that's inevitable here. It's like, uh, it's very much a tower energy for me. It's inevitable that your paths will cross. And your person believes, look, we have 10, 10. Yeah, 10, 10, it's very similar to me, you know, like 11, 11, but 10, 10, it's like there is the end of a cycle here. The pathway forward lies within a cycle completing. It's only a matter of time before fate and destiny and your paths cross again. That's what it is. So I feel like your person believes that at some point you guys will come together again. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, do I need to say more? It's just spirit confirming this two of cups. It's a, only a matter of time before they face you once again. So their higher self almost knows and trusts that whatever they're experiencing right now, they have to experience whatever you're experiencing right now in your journey, you have to experience. And it's only a matter of time before either you guys end up together as that King and Queen of Pentacles or that you guys face one another again. They want it. I do. I see this in your person's energy field. They want it. But they're very focused right now on the self, which isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. But ultimately, their connection, ultimately, their, their pathway towards their own ascension and what they've experienced so far has a lot to do with you. They always connect those dots back to you. You're always in the back of their mind as somebody who they wish that they could have done things differently. There's that, those regrets. They wish that they could have done things differently, but they want to improve now because of where they screwed up with you. So you're that natural, um, you're, you're just like that, that person's almost conscience in a way guiding light in this lifetime. How, wow. How cool is this? <laughs> so that's where your person's at with your energy right now. So why don't we see where you're at with them? This right here is called the Thelema Tarot. This is the Tarot and Oracle of the Heart. And this is the Gateway Oracle cards. I'm sorry, you guys, I've got Tinks in the background and she's playing in this box. So it's making some noise. Okay, so where are you at when it comes to this person's just who just their connect or I don't know why I can't talk. Where are you at with this person? When you think about them, what does this energy look like? Okay, so we have higher self energy, high priestess going within. I feel like this is where your person really feels your vibration. You can see these vibrations coming off of her, right? Yeah. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're uh, holding on to, whatever you're whatever you're feeling within yourself, it's like this frequency that's coming off of you. Tink, stop it. 
it's like this frequency that's coming off of you and they're feeling it. Yeah. It's like a radio frequency. They're picking up on those waves. Absolutely. We have emerging into grace. I open my soul to grace. How beautiful. What is grace? I mean, grace is a very lovely. I'm going to have to stop Tinks because she's just going to keep doing it. Always a disruption with the cats. I apologize. Okay. So emerging into grace, you're emerging into this place of grace with this individual, this place of forgiveness, this place of just feeling just blessed. That's what it is. You're gracing this person with this higher vibrational energy. Even if you feel or have felt at some time that they don't deserve it, you're doing it anyways. You choose to be in a higher frequency with this individual because you know that that's the pathway forward. You know that that's where you're wanting to go, like you're wanting to be on that pathway towards ascension. And you can't be on a pathway on, towards ascension if you're holding on to unforgiveness and hate towards really anyone. So you're choosing to be in grace instead. page of cups. You know, what's funny is like, I saw these fish and I was like, Oh, Pisces energy. Right. So there's like very much this, um, going within and the high priestess is ruled by the moon and moon is Pisces. So there's a lot of Pisces energy. Pisces has a lot to do with just being very dreamy, really relying on your intuition, being very much in your emotions and really connecting with your person there. So I do feel like that's where you're connecting with your person is in your dreams. Um, you're connecting with them when it comes to your heart space and your feelings, your inner knowingness, just kind of like that inner knowingness of you just know, you don't know why, you know, because when you're truly connected to your intuition, you can't rationalize it. You don't know why you know, you just know. You don't know why things make sense, they just do. When you try to dissect your feelings, that's when you're going to get very confused. So spirit's almost in a way asking you to trust your intuition when it comes to how you feel about this person. And the page of cups is also it's like a child's energy, someone that's still needing to grow on their path. They're needing to grow into the King of Cups. They're needing to grow and mature in their emotions. So maybe you are giving this person grace, kind of like a grace period is what I'm getting to. You're giving this person a grace period while they grow into themselves. And you know that this is necessary. You know, kind of like they know it's only a matter of time before you guys, you know, see each other once again or face each other once again, you know the same thing. So again, more mirroring happening here. What about your heart space when it comes to this person? We have the seven of cups, which really just coincides with what I just said, daydreams and decisions, but also a lot of fantasy, really daydreaming, dreaming here. So again, your heart is very connected to this person in a watery place, very watery very loving energy. Look at this more cards with fish. It just confirms the fish. <laughs> what do the fish do? The fish go with the flow. That's what they do. And we can see that your person, what is the one thing that they're doing on their journey? What is the one thing when it came to their individual energy? They are, what are they doing? What are they doing again? <laughs> If I can find it, damn it. They're going with the flow. See, they're going with the flow. You should too. Let them swim. Let them swim. Let them go to their destination. Let them travel to where they need to travel in order to find themselves. Let them grow. Let them heal. Let them make the choices that they need to make and the decisions that they need to make. This is you trusting trusting that everything that this person or individual and that you need to do is absolutely necessary for both of you in order to grow and heal. That's what it is. Trusting this process. You're trusting the process because you are trusting source. Source doesn't bring you anything that's not meant for you. Yep. Hierophant. Hierophant is very spiritual. It's like his faith for one. That's one of the biggest things about the Hierophant. It's about your faith having faith in something, having faith perhaps in this journey. If you see yourself on a journey, this is also about your belief systems, what you believe you create. This is also about spiritual contracts, 
This is about, you know, major important, like very important connections that have a lot to do with your spiritual development and growth. Mm -hmm. This could of course be about commitment, but I don't get that at all. I'm getting that this is your commitment to your journey. This is a commitment to yourself. This is also a commitment and a contract that you made with this person. Huge contract energy coming through this reading today. There's a huge contract between you and them. It's an unspoken contract, but it's there. And you guys are both aware of this contract, even though you guys might not, you know, see it as a contract, but there is a, your souls recognize that there's a purpose behind knowing each other and that you want to be better versions of yourselves for each other. That's a contract, but there's a surrendering that needs to happen here. So things can go with, you know, they can just ebb and flow. And we might feel like we're just imagining it all. We might also feel like we don't know what to do when spirit says, when you're getting confused, just go with the flow. You can't make sense of this connection. You can't make sense of what's going on or how you feel. So stop trying, <laughs> stop trying. So let's go into your rational side, the opposite of your heart space and see what's going on there. Could be some ego that comes up here. Let's see. Yes. <laughs> Look at that seven, seven. A lot of sevens and elevens coming through this reading here today. You guys, seven of wands. Choose your battles. What do you want to do? You want to choose to be in, do you want to choose to be fired up? Do you want to choose to be in your heart space? Do you want to choose to be in your logical, practical side? We've got blue, which is throat. We have the heart, which is, you know, the green, which is heart. And then we have the orange or red, which is like that sacral or root chakra. What do we want to do? So you have to choose your battles wisely. You have to choose what you're going to fight for. And at the end of the day, it's like fighting against someone or something fighting against the uh, stream, eventually you're going to exhaust yourself. So spirit's telling you to stop, stop trying to fight so hard. Stop trying to make things happen. Go with the flow. It's like, that's your lesson right now. <laughs> Stepping into stillness. Exactly. My power is born in the majesty of silence. So again, it is about going within. It's come up several times for you. Going within, stepping inside of yourself, stepping inside of that inner knowingness, really not needing to go outside of yourself for those answers anymore. You don't need confirmation. You just know, you guys. Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about just working on yourself, just continuing to, to move forward by working on your craft. So you're the Queen of Pentacles in this reading, and your person is the King of Pentacles in this reading. I do feel like they're coming up as the page of cups for you in your heart space because you know that they need time to grow and to heal, which we can see that they are doing. But the eight of pentacles is about working on your craft, focusing on your projects, focusing on you on this journey, stepping into what you need to do on your journey rather than what your person needs to do rather than how they need to heal and how they need to grow. So you guys can be happy. This is about getting out of that energy and going within and focusing on your stuff. self. So spirit saying, stop fighting this battle of trying to make something happen when it may not be right at this time it may just not be the correct timing. People still need to grow etc. So what about your, your higher self? How does your higher self connect with this individual? Love it. By when you go within, it seriously can't be more perfect the way that all the cards are coming out. When you step inside of yourself and you go within, that's when you really connect with your person. That's where your connection is at right now. It's more of like that 5d energy and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, that one just wanted to pop out, so we'll take it. Believing in magic. The magic is abounding in my life. So this is about believing in the magic, believing in your intuition, believing in spirit, believing this magical feeling that you have felt for a very long time. There's a reason for it. So this is about if you believe, okay? If you believe. So try not to figure out how the magic works. Just experience it. That's the beautiful thing. I love magic, just so you guys know. I love card tricks. I actually know a few card tricks that are pretty damn cool. But um, I just I just love magic. I love magic shows and all these other things. When you, when you figure it out, it's not so magical. 
So sometimes you're not meant to understand the magic. You're just meant to experience it. And that right there is just so interesting and just so fun. And it makes it just more entertaining. So we're not meant to know exactly why this is happening. We're not exactly meant to know when something's going to happen. We're just meant to experience it in that moment and live in that magic and continue to even be inspired by that magic to want to create more magic, living a magical life. Anything is possible in that energy. We have five of wands. So five of wands is another card of struggle. You guys have got fives and sevens in this reading too. They got the five of cups and now you have the five of wands. So there, and then we had 10, 10 in the reading as well. So there, you guys are almost like stuck in the five cycle right now. There's a completion that wants to take place, but you guys are halfway there. So there's an inner struggle. There is some sort of a struggle that's happening. So going within and just breathing and believing that whatever is happening right now is happening for a reason, believing in the magic and just seeing things magically unfold, seeing things just magically appear. I don't know why that's coming up, but it is. That right there, when you just let go and go with the flow and you stop trying to figure everything out, it's almost like that's when things just magically appear is what I'm getting from spirit. So stop struggling so much. Stop struggling with your ego. Stop struggling with, with just yourself and just let go. This is when the magic is going to start showing up for you. That's when you're going to start seeing things and you're going to actually, see, wow, like, oh my God, I believe now because I'm seeing the evidence of change. I'm seeing something happening here. All right, so now we're going to go into the journey. So what is the journey for the two of you? We, go, we know that you guys are both on a journey, and we know that you guys are connected in some sort of spiritual contract. So we're going to take a look and see how are they individually experiencing. Because see, you guys are experiencing a connection. You guys are experiencing something because of this contract, right? But you guys might be experiencing things a little bit differently. It's all up into our own individual um, journey and, and it's just experiences. So we're going to take a look and see what does it look like from both ends. But again, it's the same journey. It's just experienced a little bit differently. So we're going to use five of my decks here today. We've got signs from spirit love oracle, my twin flame journey oracle, my signs or spirits of darkness and light, my arrows of love oracle, and my twin flame journey tarot. So let's start with your person first. What is your person experiencing right now on their journey towards ascension to bettering themselves? And this of course has a lot to do with you as well as we have just seen. The Hierophant. So the Hierophant is another card that's just come up. And I didn't really realize fives again. Fives are numbers of, like they're challenging, but it means that there's something that we need to change. It remind us, reminds us that there's something that we need to shift and change in ourselves. So the spiritual advisement. Your person is getting a lot of advisement from spirit. This could, of course, be spiritual teachings. They're tapped into right now into some sort of spiritual belief system, philosophy, books, spiritual teachers, classes, workshops, something like that. So there could be someone that's actually spiritually advising them, or this just could be their own inner compass, their own inner guide. And they're, being, um, they're connecting to it through source. Your person is very much connected to source right now, is what I see. But this is your contract showing up again. This is your spiritual contract together. So this tells me here that they're connected to you and this journey through your contract. That is pretty neat. So let's get some more. What else do we need to know? Okay, so we have dominance though with the horns. So it's kind of like, you know, your person could be stubborn too even though they're very much connected to their higher selves and they're going with the flow, they might be a little bit of a beast as in that they, they, they don't go without a fight. 
<laughs> this also dominance is about masculine energy. So this is somebody who's actually showing up and they're ready to get through anything that they need to get through. We did get that for them when they showed up before. Okay. So material world showing up again for your person. We did get this with the, what is it? Breaking the trail. Yeah. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. So taking their horns and getting through anything and pushing through any kind of challenges is very important to them right now. So they're, they're very hell bent on success and getting through their challenges on their journey for sure. And the material world that makes a lot of sense to me because they are showing up as the king of pentacles in the reading. Okay. Some Taurus energy is coming through strong because king of pentacles is Taurus. And this right here, Hierophant two times is Taurus. And the bull is also Taurus. So a lot of Taurus energy is popping through. And Taurus for me is very much about structure. It's very much about family. It's very much about, you know, our belief systems. So that's why it's connected to the Hierophant's card. It's about doing the right thing, taking responsibility. So, so a lot of things are happening for your person right now on their journey in their physical world. And sometimes spirit does things to us or we have certain experiences and they get our attention through material things. I feel like this is one of the things that your person needs at this time. Another card that says destiny. Remember we got the wheel of fortune and it was on their side towards you. Yeah. Fate, destiny, and free will. Well, Hey, of course, at the end of the day, we have free will. This person has free will to do different things in this lifetime. But fate, which is spirit, steps in, steps in and pushes them towards what is meant for them. We have destiny. To me, destiny and fate are a little bit different. Destiny is what you feel. It's what you wanted to experience in this lifetime. It's, it's the contract that you made together. That's destiny. So your person is very connected to you and they're very connected to just your connection and the contract, but they're a lot of focus right now is on getting through their current challenges in the material world. But that's why there's this like, eventually I will see you again. Eventually I it's, it's like they feel perhaps that later in life, the two of you are just going to end up together. So they're not trying to worry about it so much right now. It's a, it's a very interesting energy. Wow. Cactus heart guarded. So I did get a little bit of this energy here with that bull or the horns. I mean, it's a Buffalo. I'm not really sure, but it just reminds me of a bull you guys. And that's just what I keep getting here. The bull is Taurus. So cactus heart guarded. I feel like, are you guarded? They don't know where you're at. They don't know if you're always going to have these, these thorns in your heart, maybe thorns that they left in your heart. They don't know if you're going to try to push them away if they come towards you. So I feel like that's another reason why if you haven't heard from your person or they're not really making any moves towards you is they're not sure how you feel. And some of you guys may have made it very clear to them how you feel and they've chosen to go into a different, different direction. So if that's the case, this is them guarding themselves right now. This is, this is like maybe perhaps they can't handle dealing with their heart space right now. So they're just focused more on their own healing and happiness right now, which isn't a bad thing. Sometimes we do need to take that time for us before we can truly give of ourselves to another. So it's just another confirmation that you know that this person needs time to grow and to heal, but that's where they're at on their journey. They are headed towards their destiny. They're headed towards this, this, uh, fate, and they are making choices with their free will but they're very much connected to the contract. And that has come up this entire reading. They relate you to being a better version of themselves. They relate you and the feeling that they have connected to you to wanting to improve themselves on their journey right now in life. That's not an accident at all. So that is where your person is at on the journey. Let's see where you're at. Okay. So where, where are you at right now when it comes to the journey? 
We have five of swords, so another five. Mind games and control. So this right here is about kind of battling your own ego, battling your own headspace, battling the, the, the games that your mind can play on you, trying to battle control, taking back control of your thoughts and realizing that your thoughts have more of an effect on your life than not. So I do feel like you are really trying to gain some sort of control over yourself. And we did see a lot of self-improvement cards come up for you. Balloon, yeah, you want to free yourself. You want to free yourself right now from this Five of Swords energy. So you're working on it. You're working on yourself, which is great. Makes sense to me. You're trying to let go. You're trying to go with the flow. You're trying not to obsess so much. I'm getting as well. Yeah. And you just want to pick back, like pick up the paintbrush and start creating a new picture, start creating a new reality for yourself. I think that that's really beautiful. Yep. Creating a new picture. That's what I see. Creating a new picture. Yep. Look, spirit of earth, a lot of earth energy coming up. This is the queen of pentacles for me or nature grounded and even ancestors. So tapping into, you know, maybe just old parts of yourself, maybe connecting with family, maybe even connecting with some sort of spirit guides or goddesses or gods, or just working in nature, even connecting with nature, meditating in nature, spending time outdoors, connecting with yourself. So how you're dealing with your current challenges of five of swords, you're going within you're spending more time on yourself. You're freeing yourself from any of these constrictions and you're wanting to paint a new picture, painting a new reality. Okay. So I'm not going to take, cause I'm only looking for one. Okay. So we have satin sheets, seduction. <laughs> so why would this be coming through? Well, to me, that's red energy, very root energy. And I feel like with earth and root with the red there, um, that's connected to me. It's like wanting to, like wanting to, to redo things, go from the ground up, dig up anything that's not serving us. Okay. So muse and seduction, I feel like you're tapping into your passions. That's what I'm getting with that one. You're tapping back into your passions. You're doing things that you really enjoy again. You're doing things that are feeding the spirit and that are making you feel good, making you feel alive again. And that energy right there actually frees you and puts you into a better headspace and it helps you to ascend on your journey. So whatever challenges you're experiencing and whatever challenges your person is experiencing, I feel like you guys are really making some headway. I feel like you guys are really connecting back into yourselves in order to find your way. So finding your way back to yourselves actually finds the way back to each other. That is the message here. So that is that for those. Let's go ahead now and get into the karmic cycles that are still ex being experienced, okay? So we're just gonna shift gears and kind of take the focus off of you because I feel like we've really gone into a lot of deep energies with you. Let's focus on your person. Where is your person at when it comes to the karmic cycles that they're still experiencing? What is some of the regrets or even sadness of that five of cups energy? What is that there for? Why do they feel five of cups? Why do they feel regret? Why do they feel three of swords? Why do they feel pain? Maybe why do they even feel that five of pentacles energy? So we're going to connect this to you directly. So we're going to go into my mystics, midnight or cold dark night of the soul, tarot, twin flame, journey shadows, and connections for the modern world for this. Let's see what your person is experiencing when it comes to any kind of karmic lessons or cycles that are connected to you. Any behaviors from the past? What is five of cups about when it connects to you? How do they relate five of cups to you? Oh, another gateway. Wow. How many, how many times in this reading and, and multiple decks did we get these pathways, gateway to healing and happiness? You are this person's gateway to healing and happiness, you guys. There's something about you that helps this person to get to the other side, to go through this portal. A lot of 11 11s. It's almost like different dimensions. You guys are in 5D right now. A lot of fifth dimensional energy is helping them to transition to the other side. So your energy is very important. 
and their life. Very important. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what this energy is all about. So let me just go ahead and remove these cards. I don't know why. I just flipped open artificial, so we're just going to take that because I don't know why that one was, was, was like that. Artificial. Who are they? This is about being fake, wearing a mask. So they may have been artificial. Where They might, in a way, be artificial when it comes to like not being true to themselves, living an artificial life. I feel like this person is done. I feel like they no longer want to wear a mask. They don't like who they've become, so that's why they want to change. That's why they want to improve themselves. They could feel like... Maybe there was some artificial energy between you and them, as in they weren't them. Tr they weren't their true selves. They they wore a mask. They could have told. You, they should have told you the truth about something, but maybe they did not. Yeah, they feel very foolish now. They feel very foolish for taking maybe the easy way out by just lying, by not being real with you. So I feel like there is a regret there. Five of Cups for sure. And so now it's like they've created the Queen of Swords, Siren of Torment. They're tormented now with a don't know how you, they don't know what you think about them. They might assume that you really think of them and you like want to in some sort of way punish them. I mean, look at her. She is, she's got these guard dogs around her too. Like you can't get in. If you come near me, I'm going to attack. They could really feel like they did a number on you. And so they've caused you to now be in this energy where you're not happy with them. So in some sort of way, their foolish and artificial ways have really prevented the two of you from being able to move forward and kind of get to the other side of this situation. So they feel stuck when it comes to you. They see you as the queen of swords. They're tormented by thoughts of what they did to you or how they've hurt you. Okay, so that's coming up immediately. So let's get another card here. What else? There's a regret with that. We have experiments, okay? So it could be at the end of the day, they just weren't sure. They were trying to give your connection maybe perhaps a trial run. And sometimes that's what these types of connections will do is you guys come together and someone's not ready. So I'm getting in this case, perhaps they were not ready, but they wanted to get a, give it a trial run anyways because they felt so connected to you. But at the end of the day, they weren't ready. So they did a lot of damage to you because they could have promised you things. They could have said things to you that they weren't sure how they were feeling at the time, but they said it anyway because they felt it in the moment. But at, at the end of the day, they weren't ready. And so this could have caused a lot of sadness for you. Yep. Look at that bleeding heart. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Somebody bled someone's heart out here. Somebody really hurt someone. Um, not tr I'm not trying to blame your person for everything, but we are tapped into why are they feeling five of cups? There could have been, of course, where they felt like their heart's bleeding for you for sure. But that three of swords, that's a bleeding heart. That's a heart that's pierced. And I feel like that has something to do with you. So being tormented by thoughts of how they bled your heart out by how they hurt you, how they basically did this trial run with you and experimented with your heart and that you almost like ended up feeling used and abused. So this person has a lot of regret about that. Yeah, misguided at the end of the day. It's like, <laughs> I feel like they didn't mean it. And I know that might be hard to hear for some of you guys. Your person didn't mean it. They did it anyways. They really didn't have intentions of hurting you, but they did it anyways. It's almost like they couldn't help it because they felt it so much in the moment, but they did end up hurting you and you, you ended up suffering in the end, but they were misguided. They miss, it's like they took you down a path and then before you knew it, it was like they were trying to turn around and say, oh, I don't want this. I don't know. There's something like that. Yeah. See, look at that. <laughs> Knight of Cups, smooth talker. Knight of Cups is Pisces, by the way. And a lot of Pisces energy came through in the reading. But villain of sorrow, smooth talker. At the end of the day, I mean, it's like the things that they said, the things that they said, the pathway that they led you down, 
it ended up just bleeding out your heart. Okay. It's like they experimented with you. Maybe they tried this out with you and it just was something that at the end of the day, they weren't ready for. They couldn't, they couldn't show up for it. They couldn't follow through with something. Yeah. So that's what their regret is about. Let's get one last run here. That five of cups energy has a lot to do with what happened in the past with you guys. Okay. Sorry. I don't want two. I just want one. The piranha wanted to come up, which is very vicious energy, but let's see. Candelabra invitation party and event. So it's like, I feel like they invited you in because you could look at them and just say, I didn't ask for this. They, they said they wanted this. They took me down this pathway. Yes, they absolutely did, but they didn't realize that they weren't going to be ready. They didn't realize that they couldn't follow through with their promises and it doesn't get, take them off the hook. Well, they didn't mean to hurt you, but they did. So they invited you into their world, but then in some way it's like they, they, they pushed you out. And remember you guys, this is their own karma. Okay. So we have community. I feel like there could have been a lot of activity of other people on their journey that had a lot to do with the influence of your demise. As in, maybe there was just too many things going on. There was too many other choices. There was too many things to think about. There was perhaps something they felt like they needed to do. Maybe there was a lot of social activity. That's like a three of cups energy to me. And three of cups is parties and events and celebrations and coming together with friends. There could have been a lot of outside influences, you guys, that started to affect this connection. It was starting to kind of pu pull them in a, a direction away from your connection. It, se it seemed like their focus was elsewhere after a period of time. Like they could have really been invested in you at first and then pulled away. Warning. And it's almost like they knew they could have, I'm also getting two. They could have warned you. They could have said, I'm not really looking for a commitment or I'm really bad at commitment or whatever. They could have said these things to you guys, but maybe you didn't want to listen. Maybe you thought to yourself, I'm going to be the exception. That's for some of you, but, or they, they knew they shouldn't have done this with you, but they did it anyways. I couldn't help myself. That is an energy that's coming through very strong. Yeah. So <laughs> what did this do? Two of swords already came up in this reading. It was on your side, you guys, two of swords. Now we're in a deadlock position. What ended up happening now at the end of the day is that now you guys are in this position where neither of you are either speaking or you guys really can't grow or move forward or even heal or rectify the situation. Now you guys are both kind of stuck. So they're just as stuck as you, but they are choosing to deal with it by just tr moving forward and to rebuild themselves and restructure themselves in the material world. So in some sort of a way, it's almost like spirit telling you, you need to start doing the same. If you've stopped living your life or you're waiting for some sort of resolve from this person, stop waiting for it. Create your own resolve right now. Continue to do your own thing. So when it comes to the karmic cycles with this individual and the five of cups energy and why they feel it, they've had to go through something. I also feel like something has happened within a community that's connected to them and some sort of social atmosphere or some sort of career that could have had a lot to do with social, like social things has come back and they've experienced this five of pentacles loss within a community. And that was a part of their karma. They were meant to be taken down a few notches in order to understand what it's like to be either promised or told something and someone not follow through. So they're going through heartbreak and sadness because of other people in their lives, but they're learning from those things because that is the only way to understand, wow, I did treat this person this way. And that's how they must have felt. That's how we learn. We learn by experiencing things ourselves because then it helps us to see how we may have impacted other people in a negative way. So your person is forced. Sometimes we have that blindfold on. What does it do? If you can't see with your physical eyes, it forces you to go within. And that is where your person is at. They can't smooth talk their way out of this. 
There is no fixing the five of pentacles right now. They just have to sit in their shit and they have to figure it out. And I feel like they are. So with whatever happened between you and them, I do feel like they got theirs. And now it's their time to figure shit out. That's what I'm seeing. So let's now take a look and see what are their hopes and desires for you in this connection. Okay. At the end of the day, what do they truly hope? that may happen? What do they truly desire to happen? This is my depths of the sea Oracle. We're going to go into the mermaid Oracle and the good tarot. So let's see, what does your person truly hope and desire at this time with, the, with you? Okay, so we have unpredictable rain clouds. We have awareness, which is the second time in this reading, totally different card though, that they have awareness in their energy field connected to you. And we have multiple choices, which is interesting because the seven of cups came up and that has a lot to do with multiple choices. And how did that come up? That came up with the reference that you know that they're the page of cups and that they've got to make choices and that they've got to figure out who they are and what they want. So this is telling me that that's where they're at. Okay. They, so they're, they're very aware they're in a Zen spot. Again, another confirmation with that Zen that they might be connected to some sort of philosophy or spiritual belief system. And rain clouds, it's very unpredictable as to what's going to happen right now in their lives. So they may not know what they really want with you. Multiple choices means that there's a lot of choices that they're facing right now. And so they're not sure exactly what they want, but they are aware of your connection. They are aware of you as a part of their development and growth in this lifetime. They are aware of the soul contract. Sorry, hold on. There we go. Yeah, see, this is just spirit's way of confirming. They recognize the connection. They are aware and they recognize something when it comes to you in this connection. They're also recognizing things about themselves through you. We have be spontaneous. So remember they had a lot of bliss and pleasure energy connected to them. They're just trying to live in the moment and be spontaneous and not plan anything out. And we have memories. They think about you. They have connect. They have a definitely a soul vibration that connects with you for sure. They think about you. They might look at your photographs. They might think about the past. Of course, we know when they think about the past, they're a little confused because they don't know whether or not you hold them in a, in a positive energy. Multiple choices. I mean, I feel like they're willing to keep their options open, but they do have memories of the two of you. unpredictable and recognition with judgment. So they recognize the connection. Judgment is a resurrection, a, an awakening, a rebirthing, but it's also about karma for me. It's about reviewing our karma, recognizing what we've done. So what does your person desire? I feel like your person, it's, un, it's like they feel like Things are unpredictable when it comes to you and them. They don't know how you feel. They don't know what to expect from this, but they recognize perhaps that maybe they're the ones that are going to have to do something by calling you, by contacting you in order to have this connection resurrected, that they realize that they're going to have to be the ones to do it. So they desire it, but rain clouds means there's a lot of confusion and they're not sure if they can do it. So they desire it. They want that and they hope for it. They, they may even hope, of course, that you call them, which will help them to be more clear. And that will help them to recognize that you still care. I'm getting that for some of you. But their desire with their judgment card right, like that is to perhaps apologize, make wrongs right, 
and to resurrect this connection. So now we have Zen awareness and be spontaneous. They're not trying to plan it out though. This could be more of a, like a spontaneous, you know, fly by the seat of your pants type of a person. We have the star though. The star comes up connected to you again. This is about letting spirit guide the way. That's why it's be spontaneous though. They're not trying to plan this out. They're going with the flow. They're being Zen about it. They're just not trying to control it, not trying to worry about it. They're just almost like they're saying, if you, if your paths are meant to cross again and they're ever meant to see you again, then this is going to happen. And it doesn't mean that they won't ever try because I do feel like they are aware that they do need to be the person perhaps to make contact in order to resurrect this connection. But in some way, they're also choosing to just work on their healing, which is the star and being aware of themselves and just kind of being spontaneous and trusting that whatever spirit has in store will guide the way. So I feel like they, they accept and they, they just have a lot of faith that whatever will happen will be. And I know it might not be what some of you want to hear, but that's what I'm getting and multiple choices, memories, queen of fire. Beautiful. So this is the deal. You guys, and I'm only going to say this for some of you out there watching the video. If you're aware that this person is with someone else, this could be that, you know, maybe they're with someone else, but see the memories with you still remain. So just because they've moved on, just because they have other choices, doesn't mean that they have forgotten about you. That's for some of you out there. Um, but for others, they have mul multiple choices, meaning that they have choices. There's a lot of people that are in perhaps their, their pathway that they can make a choice to be with or not be with. But the memory of you is so strong and you're like that queen of fire. You're the most attractive. You're the one that they basically desire the most with all of these multiple choices. They want you and you only. So it makes it very difficult for them to let go and even be satisfied with another partner because the queen of fire is so powerful and so magnetic. So continue to be in your full power, continue to be in that high vibrational energy within yourself. And this actually helps your person to find their way back to you. So that way you guys can resurrect this connection. So what they really desire is you. And even if they have other choices and that they're with other people, they still desire you no matter what the memories remain. And they're really focused on their own healing and very aware of themselves and they are growing, but they are just trying to be very spontaneous and go with the flow and not worry so much about it. It's like when the time comes, they don't know when it's going to be, but they are going to recognize and they are going to take responsibility for their actions. And when they maybe finally get to that point, maybe when you hear from them, that's what I'm getting. So it's like the stars about divine timing for me. It's about the, when the stars align when they're spiritually healed, when they're, um, ascended to a different level, you may hear from this individual. So that's what they desire or hope for to resurrect and to be with their queen. So let's see what they think about. So, I mean, we already know what they think about, but what does their higher self want to communicate with you at this time? What do their, what do these things that they think about when it comes to you, what does it look like? And what do they want to say? What are the words that are just kind of lingering around in their mind? This right here is the Chiro Marchetti's, um, Oracle of visions. Oh, look at that. This is you touching them from 5D. Whenever I get this card, even though it might mean something else, I don't care. These are oracles, uh, the oracle of visions. It's my vision. So I use these cards intuitively. There are no words here. But how I see this card is somebody is reaching out to somebody from 5D. That has come up very strong in this reading. That is where they connect with you the most, you guys. That's why it's very important for you, whatever energy you're holding on to when it comes to them, make sure it's high vibe because they are picking up on this. They're picking up on that energy from you. This is the uh, Marchetti Tarot. I believe this is only available on his website, so it's not going to be on Amazon like some of his other decks. Oh, Knight of Swords. Okay. 
So the Knight of Swords is about someone who is really like thinking about something, Swords energy, and what they want to do, what action they feel like they can take. This is my Twin Flame Journey messages too. I Wow. Your person's telling you, I will come back for you. I will take action towards you, swift action towards you, and I will, I will basically do something is what they're telling you. This is my twin flame message or journey messages. Number one, I'm reminded of you constantly. <laughs> yeah. So where their higher self is right now is they are feeling your energy and that they know that at some point, because the reminders of you are so constant, that that's their higher self's way of connecting with them and telling them and communicating for them to find you and come back for you. So I will come back for you one day is what I'm getting. And they know it. It's come through the entire reading. They know that at some point you guys are going to be it in the end. So this right here is kind of like this card of being controlled. Maybe we're being controlled by outer circumstances. Maybe we feel like we're constrained and we can't do the things that we want to do because of certain circumstances. So your person could be, of course, experiencing challenges when it comes to the material world. We did see that a lot. Or they just could feel like perhaps their ego keeps tearing them or taking them into another direction. Well, we have Queen of Cups. How you feel about them, it's like what I'm getting here, controls the situation. So it's another, it's another confirmation. See, I'm afraid. If you're afraid of them, if you aren't holding their energy in high vibration, then fear takes over and controls what's happening here and this play of your life. So this is like the stage of, of your connection. What controls it? How we feel, what we're feeding that cup. Is that cup full of love? Is it full of unconditional love and inner knowingness? Is it full of just, I, just unconditional love? Or is it full of conditions? Or is it full of fear and resentment and bitterness? What is that cup full of? However, you're holding this person's cup has a lot to do with the moves that they make towards you in this life. So again, it's very important for you to hold them in high vibe. And I know that some of you guys see, I can't, your person has a lot of signs about you and it's, they, they can't ignore them forever. It's only a matter of time before they choose to do something about it, to get in that Knight of Swords energy and to come back for you and to find you. Crazy. More fish, a lot of Pisces energy here. So this is you. You got one foot in, one foot out. This is really beautiful though because this is about feeling really balanced. You're balanced between 3D and 5D energy. So... You're still doing you, okay? Your entire life's purpose isn't about this connection and same thing for your person. But you guys do have a contract here and it is to be a better version of yourselves in your lifetime for yourselves, but also for each other. So, but this is about having one foot in reality and one foot in the connection. You're balanced in between both worlds. And so the more balanced that you are, that right there is good for you, but it's also good for the connection. Because remember, a lot of 5D energy is where you and your person connect very strongly. And we have the world. Look at that. Completion. Completion of this cycle. Completion of this unfinished business. At some point, you and this person are going to face each other once again. And you guys are going to clear this up. It's only a matter of time. Would you give me a second chance to make things right between us? So this is about a second chance. This is about a rebirthing of this connection. This is about a resurrection of this connection, which we just saw with the judgments card with your person, with what they want. I feel like they are going to want a second chance with you in this life on planet Earth this lifetime. 
Because why? Because no one compares to that gal right there, the queen of fire. No one else compares. Yes, this person has many choices. Absolutely. But they don't want any of those choices. Because nobody compares to you. That's what it is. So, I mean, that right there is just so profound. That is what your person wants you to understand and know from their higher self. Is that uh, <laughs> the memories remain. No one compares to you. And um, it's only a matter of time before they basically come back. They do a free will, of course, so keep that in mind, but that is what their intentions are at this time. So what are their plans moving forward? What are they capable of, basically? So we're going to go into the Star Tarot. It's this one right here. Star Tarot. The Spell Casting Oracle. And the Cosmic Dancer Oracle. What is your person capable of? What are their plans moving forward? Looking, okay, I love this. They're, they want to look in the mirror first. Guess what? You're this person's mirror. How many times did it come up in this reading? You are this person's mirror. They're looking in the mirror. They're reflecting. They're looking at themselves through you. So this is their plans moving forward to continue to look at themselves, to continue to take a good look at themselves, you know, and to see themselves for who they really are. This is very necessary. To me, this is better than getting the message. They're coming back right now. They're planning on making these moves right now. No, they are going within. They are taking this time for them to really figure out themselves. Beautiful. They're trying to get to more of a compassionate state within themselves. You have this guy and he has the, the, the world. A lot of world events right now could be affecting this person. They're really trying to take a look at in the mirror. They could have experienced like a lot of um, maybe just stress with people around them, world events that are causing them to feel really bitter, uh, you know, different things like that. And so this could be bringing up a lot of stuff for them where they're going to need to have a lot more compassion. So maybe they don't. Maybe they're really struggling to have compassion for other people that see things differently or what's happening in the world right now, not blaming, not being a victim taking a good look in the mirror instead. What can I do to change? I'm the only person that can change my reality. So I feel like their plans moving forward is to continue to work on themselves. That's what I'm getting here with that. Continue to work on themselves. So it's not really about you at this point. It is because of you that they're doing some of these changes because there's a mirroring effect happening here. They're looking within themselves because they want to be a better version of themselves, not only for themselves, but for you too. But they also realize that they still have some work to do. Yep. I like that page of cups. So the, <laughs> the page of cups, you guys, has come up for a, I think, second time now in this reading. They're still growing. They're still learning. They're still maturing on this journey, okay? So they're still needing to work on themselves. We have the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is awesome too because this is on the way to being the King of Pentacles, which is how they have shown up in this reading. They showed up as the King of Pentacles, but they're that page of cups. That's where they're kind of at. They're working on their cup. They're reflecting. They're working on their emotions. They're working on their happiness and their pleasure and what makes them happy. Is this cup that I'm carrying around is what I have to offer? Is this even worthy of an offer right now? They're working on themselves hugely right now. And the Knight of Pentacles can just, it's like a slow and steady energy, but it does win the race eventually. They want to work on themselves in, in a very slow, methodical, practical way. So you might not be dealing with somebody who's trying to rush back into your life. It's kind of like they're taking their time because they know that they have to go through a spiritual awakening and experience here. Things take time. And we have the Queen of Swords. So you're coming up as the Queen of Swords again. 
So King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, right? The only uh, queen that didn't show up, no, we got the Queen of Cups. We got every, all the queens, actually. You came up as all the queens in this reading. But the Queen of Swords is the biggest thorn in their side because the Queen of Swords is somebody who we're not sure where we stand with her. We're not sure if we have what it takes. Just so you know, this page and this knight is no match for that queen. That queen is going to eat that knight or page alive. So they might not feel worthy of your stature. They, might, they may not feel like they have what it takes right now in order to meet you as that queen of swords. So there, do you see the progression? So when it comes to what are their plans moving forward, their plans are continued to work on themselves. So that way, perhaps they can face their queen of swords at one time or another. Okay. So that's beautiful. All right. How is spirit guiding the way? All right, so we've got Divine Connections Oracle by Queen of Light 1111, my Divine Feminine Healing Oracle, and my Twin Flame Angel Numbers. So how is spirit guiding the way? How is spirit assisting in this connection, on this journey? We have Rama, peace, love that. It's all about peace and Zen right now. We have distorted feminine. So whoever the feminine is in this uh, reading today, so if you're the viewer, the, the distorted feminine, this is someone who is needing to really take a good look at themselves. And we have remove obstacles, soldier. But this could also be a masculine where his feminine perspective right now is distorted or his view of the feminine is distorted. There's obstacles in the way. That could be this masculine's view of the feminine, which is she's the queen of swords. That's his biggest thorn. It gives him a distorted viewpoint of his feminine. So how can the feminine help? By being in a softer energy, a more peaceful, graceful energy with her masculine. That's what she can do. Universe. I trust in the laws of karma to balance out the scales of any injustices. It, it, this is that card that's talking about have faith. Have faith that everything is happening exactly the way that it's supposed to. Karmic cycles, lessons, all of these things are happening just the way they're supposed to. 229, patience is required as one person is still struggling to gain clarity with current challenges. That's your person. But this could also, of course, be you too. So someone right now is just on hold. Somebody's still really struggling to gain clarity. Somebody's still trying to remove obstacles from their life. This takes time and patience is needed. We have soul cleanse, distorted feminine. It says, I embrace my emotions. Your person is trying to embrace their emotions with that page of cups energy. They are, they're really trying to get into their emotions, but this is also you cleansing your emotions too, in order to get out of any distorted energy that's connected to the feminine. So no matter who's watching the video, somebody has to cleanse and embrace their emotions and deal with something and purge something and heal it in order to get rid of any distorted energies of feminine. So spirit is asking us to do that, not only for ourselves, but also the view of someone else. 101, I love this. Caring for your overall health is a necessary tool in your journey. Love yourself a little more today. So how does this happen? By loving the self more. What is this journey about? This journey is about the self, self-union in order to get to, into union with someone else. So it's a part of your journey right now to pick up these tools and start loving yourself a little bit more, caring for yourself more. If you're solely focused on this person or this connection and you're not focused on yourself, you're really doing yourself a disservice as well as the connection. So you've got to focus more on you. That's why the spirit of earth came up earlier is because that has a lot to do with where your journey is at right now. You've got to focus more on your, your, like yourself, your healing earth energy, who you are on earth. It's about a balance between three and five D energy. Wow. Wow. How many times did fate and destiny? So it was destiny when it came to how your person sees you with that will of fortune. And then the fate, free will, and destiny card came up, right? And now we have fate. I will never forget you, my love. 
but I must continue on with my life. If we are meant to be, the universe will find a way. Unbelievable. That right there is where your person is at right now on their journey. If we're supposed to come back together, the universe is going to find a way. They're trusting that fate. If this is destined or fated, it will happen. So this helps to remove obstacles when you just let go and trust that whatever is meant will be. Spirit's asking you to do that. I must continue on with my life, my love. Past, present, and future energies need examining. What do you truly want moving forward? So this, remember, we got the time machine. That was one of the first cards that came up for you, the viewer. Time machine. We can't go back in time. But the past is important when it comes to our healing. Present is where our energy really, really needs to be focused because if we aren't focused on the present, then we're losing out of the experience. If we're only thinking about the future, we're constantly worrying about things that haven't happened yet. We're almost creating those things prematurely. So spirit is saying past, present, and future energies need examining. What are we folk? What energies are we holding or connecting with our past? Where are we at in our present lives? What do we think about our futures? All of those things need to be almost cleansed, balanced, and healed. These could also be numbers that you guys are seeing. A lot of sevens, fives, and elevens came through this reading. I do see 11 here with two nine. Okay, so that's 11. You guys could be seeing ones, twos, and threes as well. And of course, any of the combinations that just came up here. But Spirit is really telling us wherever we're distorted, we need to cleanse that. We need to balance. We need to be in a more peaceful state. We need to realize that people need time. We need time. This is a faded, destined connection and contract, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. So focus your energy more on loving yourself today instead of worrying so much about what's going to happen. That is going to be your pathway forward. All right. Last messages are advice. This is advice from spirit. That was how spirit is helping us on our journey. This is advice. So we've got these cards, which is shine from the inside. This is a new deck for me from a viewer. Thank you so much. This is the sweet ass affirmations. Very cool deck. And this is the believe, believe in your own magic cards. So. All right, so what is advice for the viewer? Wow, universe. We did just get that card. Let me just get it because I want to. Okay. A lot of repeat words here to, in today's reading with different decks. I trust in the laws of karma to balance out any scales of injustice. We've got universe. Plus we can dig at the world too, which is very similar. We're all just stardust. At the end of the day, we're all made up of the stars. It's all energy. So it's very important, you guys, what energy we're constantly holding on to when it comes to ourselves and other people. Trust your intuition. She's always right. What was one of the biggest messages in today's reading for the viewer? Keep trusting your intuition by going within. Your answers are not outside of yourself. So if you're searching for evidence or you're searching for to, you know, confirmations outside of yourself, Spirit's almost asking you to stop doing that. Your answers come from within you, not from other people. Not even from this person right now. Trust your heart. Trust your intuition. And last message. What is our affirmation? What is today's affirmation for the viewer? I am always focused on what lights me up. This right here is like a queen of wands energy. 
What does the Queen of Wands do? She's so focused on all the things that just light her up, make her happy, inspire her. And then what that does is it shifts her energy and her frequency. And other people are very attracted to that. That's one of the things that your person loves about you the most, that you're the queen of wands. That's the one thing that sets you apart from everybody else. That's the one thing that makes your person feel that you are irreplaceable, that no other compares to you. So continue to focus on what lights you up and what makes you happy. And I feel like you are doing that. And that came up through the entire reading. You're focused more on things that are lighting you up, muse energy. Sometimes when you fly, you get super high in the moment and you're distracted by the sheer magnificence of the space that surrounds you. So it's important to remember that you cannot tangle with every passing asteroid if you wish to reach the stars. Always stay focused on what lights you up. You were born to shine. So these asteroids are meant to be challenges or bumps in the road, but don't focus on that. Remember, you know, you're in the universe and things are going to happen. There's obviously things that are surrounding us, but if you focus on what lights you up and focus more on the positives instead of your fears and the negatives, this is going to continue to light the way towards your ascension. So beautiful. So anyways, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed some of these new cards. I do feel like they shifted up the energy this week, just kind of gave us some new messages. And so um, I feel really good about that. I hope you guys did too. So thanks again for watching and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.